I'm going to show you how to do a couple things like make the L look like it's in between the C or kind of behind it here. There's a couple tips and tricks I can show you for that. What if I just wanted this corner of the L to be popping out in front? I'm going to alt and drag so I still have my original. Whoops, I'm going to select them both. Alt and drag so I still have the original. Now, for the L, I'm going to change the L into an object. So that's type and create outlines. There now it's an object. I can no longer double click on it to change the text because it is now an object. Um, so I'm going to get out of this by escaping. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is command C to copy it. I'm going to shift command V to paste it. Now what that did was pasted in place. And I'm going to zoom in here. I only want this corner to be overlapping the C. I have two L's here. Let me show you. I have two L's. One is in front of the C and one is behind the C. And what I'm going to do is erase the top L wherever I need the C to show through. Get my eraser tool and erase. I know that looks really weird, but it's going to be okay. There it is. Okay, so now this front L only has right here and down here. And I'm going to go ahead and erase down here. It doesn't matter, but I don't need this little section. So it is gone now. And it looks now like that C is behind this corner of the L. Zoom out so you can see that a little bit more. Like so. That is what I did up here on this one. And I did that down here on the C. You can see that the L is right here. And here, the C is only right here. And then this back C is, is in parts as well. Okay, now if you want to do something more like this, this is actually done with your Pathfinder. So let's go back to our um, our examples here. Let's do a study of this one. Alt and drag. And we'll move the C so that it's right. Ooh, let's move it back here. Okay. To do the effect where you have reverse colors, you're going to select both. And these ones both need to be objects. Please always remember to copy paste because now that they're objects, I cannot edit them. I can't change the font. I can't find out what font it was. So always make sure that you keep the originals somewhere. So now I'm going to select them both, go to my Pathfinder. And you can mess around with all of these and see what they do. Um, often that's what I do. But uh, what we're going to end end up doing is this exclude. And I click on that and you can see that it's taken the negative out of the L where the C was. So it just reversed the colors basically. And I can still adjust the color if I want to. It's going to adjust the whole thing. Go to a darker gray or even a black if I wanted to. Ooh, can't see that though. Let's go to a black. Remember that for this first step, we are not doing color. We're just going to do black and white. And the reason why is because color complicates. So make sure that you do a lot of studies in black and white with just the initials first.